Hey, it's Phoebe and today I'm flying from Cairns to Tokyo. Now this is my first time flying to Tokyo or Japan by myself and it's also my first time flying out of Cairns airport. So I drove here, parked the car in the airport, T1 budget car park, got all checked in and now I'm just sitting around waiting for my flight. Um, and I have to say I, I really like Cairns airport. It's so low key and chill and relaxed. It doesn't have that frantic airport energy about it. Now this whole adventure actually started a good few weeks ago um, and really if we're honest TikTok is to blame for all of this. Jetstar has done it again. Flights to Japan returned from $299 out of Cairns. So I was on TikTok and that guy popped up. Should we do something crazy? Should we just like impulse buy some return flights to Tokyo? Should we? I don't know. But should we? No. But should we? So here I am, sitting in the airport on my way to Tokyo. Now my video this week is sponsored by the amazing team at Sims Direct. Now they specialize in affordable, prepaid and easy to use travel sims for your next overseas adventure. And for this trip, I've got their 30 day eSIM, which gives me 10 gig of data so I can stay connected, navigate, find the book experiences on the go and so much more. So there is a link in the video description below. Use that to find and book a SIM card for your next adventure anywhere in the world. Now, while I'm flying solo, I'm not actually traveling solo. I have a friend and it's not my mom, my sister or my dad. It's a real independent friend. Um, now, this is somebody I've traveled with before. You may have seen them in my videos from last year at some point, but don't worry if you didn't, I'll introduce you when we get there and you're gonna be seeing a lot of them in the Japan series, so you'll get to know them very, very well. So it is time to board. Now the flight time should be around seven and a half hours, which is not bad at all. I've downloaded a ton of TV shows, movies, and even some podcasts to keep me busy during the flight. I even got online and splashed out the extra 20 odd dollars to choose a seat because I got seat anxiety and didn't want to be stuck in a middle seat. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna settle in and we'll be there before we know it. Oh my gosh, we're here and I'm so happy. I feel so excited. I'm um, getting off the plane. It is freezing and I'm worried now that I didn't pack enough warm clothes. This is about 14 degrees, which is a bit chilly for me and my cold Queensland blood. <laughs> that flight was really easy. Um, it went really well. Thank you. Konnichiwa. Um, the flight went really easily. Seven and a half hours went like nothing. I fell asleep for most of it because I had the three seats to myself. And now I'm just gonna go get my bags um, and then we're gonna figure out how we're gonna get into town. But I have a plan for that. <laughs> I'll share it with you. Um, that was so fast and easy. It took two seconds to get through customs, get through password control, and my bags are already coming through the carousel when I get off the plane. One tip, make sure you have your customs card and your visa arrival card thing filled out before you get off the plane. As an Aussie I didn't need to pay for a visa, of course I could just come straight in, but having that paperwork done in advance helped a lot. Now it is time to catch the train. I'm catching the Skyliner from Narita to Ueno Station and I pre-booked my tickets with Kluke. So that meant it was just easier for me to book. I knew I was definitely gonna get a seat. I have the Kluke app on my phone, so my ticket is on there. I just have to go and exchange the ticket. And of course, I can do all of that because I have my Sims Direct eSIM. Do you see how the travel ecosystem just works together? So let's go find where the train leaves from. Let's go change our Kluke ticket into a real ticket, get on and get to Ueno and get to the hotel.
Abby. If you are sitting at home and you have been thinking about booking some flights somewhere and you're talking yourself out of it because you're afraid or you're unsure or you don't know if you should do it, book the flights, pick up the credit card, pick up the debit card, do whatever you have to do, book the flights now and the rest will just work out because I have to tell you, this is the best thing I've done for myself in a really long time. I am so happy. The magic's back. The sparkle's back and all it took was flying to Japan. Um, I don't know where I am. I popped up in the street in Ueno. Um, apparently it's a 15 minute walk to my hotel. I'm gonna be able to nab on my phone, thank goodness, because I really just have no idea how to get there, but how hard can it be? Um, I just feel like stepping off that train just now was me stepping into my new life. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've left so much behind me and this is just a way for me to step into myself and step into my life and I'm just so happy. I just feel so good right now. Um, I feel cold <laughs> and I feel really happy. So, all right. This is the start of something awesome. This is the start of my, my new everything. We said it, right? Our girl Brianna Weiss said, your, old, your new life is gonna cost you your old one. And it, it is painful to shed a life. But when you step into the new one, <laughs> it feels amazing, it feels so good. And I am so happy right now. All right, let's go to the hotel and I'm gonna do a friend reveal. <laughs> accommodation we are staying at Hotel Graffi Nizu. It is a 40 year old former Ryokan remodeled into a very cool and laid back spot in a great location. Seriously getting around from here was super easy. Now I've included some daytime and breakfast shots for you too so you can get a proper feel for the place but basically the staff are lovely, there are loads of spots to hang out, there's free coffee all day, co-working spots, an epic rooftop and the rooms are awesome. We stayed in 212 and and loved it. Our room even has a projector so you can project movies and watch them in bed. I loved it here, I would definitely stay again and I would recommend it. So I've got a link in the video description for you to book your stay as well. arrived at the hotel and then I was having such a lovely time I forgot that I have a, a YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, so we ran down to the corner store to get something to eat and um, I don't know why it's making me laugh now. We came out of the freezer so it should be no surprise that it's cold. Wait, it's also... It's a... Cheers. Please be good. <laughs> There's a lot going on. What? It's really good. Okay. That is really Ooh, good. what is that? Why is that so good? Mm. Mm. It's a secret sauce. It's Mr. Mahashi's <laughs> secret sauce. <laughs> it's so good. No, it's so good. It's so good. I'm it's like criminal. Mm. Why did you just go? <laughs> okay. Wait a second. So the outside is... Is that mochi, the outside? Yeah, mochi. Yeah, mochi? 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 Tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, so it's like, like if you've never had it before, this will tell you everything you need to know. That kind of movement. So it's <laughs> yeah. gelatinous almost. Good. <laughs> really good. Cold vanilla ice cream on the inside. Good. And then you hit this thing in the middle. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Mochi's secret sauce. Secret sauce. sauce? <laughs> I feel like it's caramel or something. Mm. Hot dog. That is the best one. Yet. That's really good. I like that a lot. How much was that? I had the vanilla last night, the vanilla mochi, mm -hmm. which was amazing. That was next level. Whoa, that was, that's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat this every day for the next two weeks. <laughs> we <can get> so <laughs> fat. I really like that. Highly recommend. M. Mm, that was delicious. If you've been. <laughs> <laughs> If you've been watching this channel for a long time, you'll have, you will have seen these in my last Japan series. These are my favorite. James has never had them. <laughs> I've never had them. I want to have them. <laughs> Look, you're really excited, aren't you? 
You open them. Okay. 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 Real? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they're so basic. They're so cute. Look at that. For a second you get to feel like what it's like to be a giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you'll like it. Mmm. They're good. <laughs> they're also very good. They're very good, right? Mmm. They're great. It's a good amount what? of chocolate to biscuit ratio. Oh my god, they're good, right? Mmm. Mm-hmm. I love Japan so much. Alright, and I actually have to introduce you to James. I think that people might have seen you before. Maybe, yeah, in um, Cebu videos. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They would have seen, seen you in the Philippines videos. Yeah. I'm kind of talking about you like you're not here. Like, people <laughs> yeah. might have seen him. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're traveling around Japan. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. You've got two weeks mm -hmm. to explore Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, Sapporo. It's gonna be fun. We got. And thanks to James, we're gonna go on the train. Because it was up to me, we'd be flying everywhere because I'm a chicken. <laughs> but he's very confident. So we're gonna be training around, which is really exciting. And then tomorrow, we're we'll after to do something very special. Um, but I won't tell you what that is just yet. <laughs> we have such a big day planned tomorrow. And you know what? It's like super late for me anyway. To call it, to call it this to Tam. We just arrive, you just gotta eat our flight. I don't feel like it. Oh, did you really sleep rude. on the flight? Yeah, I did. Did you have a full row? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Three. Yeah, yeah, me too. I have a full row. <laughs> mm -hmm. These would be good um, with vanilla ice cream. Like, dipped. Oh my god, that sounds so <laughs> good. They would be really good with vanilla ice cream. We have to get more of these. I swear to god. These... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you come to Japan, you have to go and find these. That's probably the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. That's not even an exaggeration. They're really, really good. That is delicious. Wait, I'll be focus. honest, when I used there, to... <laughs> right there. <laughs> when I took that first bite, I was skeptical. I was like, Eat what it. are you done? That was so good. Oh, yeah, you have the last two. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to back up all of my video files, which is not fun for you. Well, you don't have to do it, so it's fine for you. I'm going to back up all my video files. We have to figure out a plan for tomorrow because we have to get to the place that we're going to. Um, and then we really didn't book too much stuff for the coming weeks, and we really also need to do that. And somehow also start watching a movie. <laughs> it's a it's a full evening. And charge our portable chargers because my phone dies three times a day in Japan. Does and it really? Yeah, I use my I charge my phone three times yesterday and I use it every all of this filming so much. Oh my, my phone. gosh! It's bad. In case you guys think we have like really fancy cameras to film on, <laughs> we don't. It's our phones. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go and do all of that, and I will see you guys with a brand new episode next week. Love you.